it's been a decade since we lost the beloved comedic actor Robin Williams. And he's proven throughout his career he can easily do comedy as well as drama. And he did it, always does it so effortlessly. 2002 was a big year for Robin Williams. With films like Death to Smoochie, Insomnia, and his most talked about film that year was One Hour Photo, in which he plays Cy Parrish. A man who lives a very non-existent life. It's pretty clear he has no family and friends. But what, but what brings him joy is his job at a one-hour photo lab at Save Mart, in which he develops people's roles, and he takes pride in it. He becomes particularly obsessed with the Yorkins, played by Michael Vartan and Connie Nielsen, who he has been developing their role for years, and he views them as the picture-perfect happy family. Cy envisions himself as a member of the family because um, he wants to be a part of that. And it, as you see in one scene in the film, he, he makes extra copies of their pictures for himself and plasters them, plasters them on his wall in his apartment. And that is quite a creepy look when you see that for the first time. But what happens when Cy discovers the perfection he was trying to find in the Yorkins is just an illusion. And a sad dose of reality starts to sink in. I'd rather not say uh, what happens there because I want you to see the movie to find that out. <laughs> oh boy. I gotta say, Robin Williams proves he could play creepy. I mean... I know he played it in Insomnia, but here he takes it up further. <laughs> as I first view Psy, I don't see him as a as an evil guy. I see him as very troubled, and it's pretty clear he's that. But I don't see him as evil. All he wants is to be a part of something happy, and and it's pretty and it's understandably that. He didn't get that as a child. It doesn't openly say that he had an unhappy childhood. But it, but some moments in this film it hints at it in so many terms that it's to the point where the audience catches on to what it means. They asked Robin Williams in an interview, like, said, why did you take this role? I never played a role like this before. It was interesting. What about the character in Insomnia? And he said, the character in Insomnia is nothing compared to this character. <laughs> Ironically, from what I hear is that Robin Williams was not the first choice for Cy Parrish. Jack Nicholson was. I guess he was unavailable. He was first asked to play Bill Owens, Cy's temperamental boss, who was later played by Gary Cole. But... But Robin Williams insisted on playing Cy Parrish because he thought he was a more interesting character, and he was right. And not dismissing the other actors in this film, uh, Michael Vartan is good as well, and Connie Nielsen is good as Nina. I mean, they're, I mean, they're good when their scenes come up, but the the real, the real, the real movie is Robin Williams. I mean, he. I just love Mark Romanek's direction, how he just, a big tension builder. I mean, you just, when you, you're scared when it's going to get to that certain moment, like you're grabbing on the edge of your seat when this moment finally comes. And it's like, ooh, it, that's such a great scene when it's a big tension grabber. And there is a scary dream sequence, just shows you, that pretty much explains Psy, and uh, that he's like, a volcano just waiting to erupt. That's what he is. That's what Psy is. I like the way the movie doesn't... Even though even moments when you know Psy's actions are wrong, you still feel bad for him, and you, you can't help... It doesn't make you want to hate him. So I give one-hour photo a 10 out of 10. Have a good one.